We'll guide you through how to download and install Forge for Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you'll need to open up a web browser. So personally, I just use Google Chrome and then come to a search engine like Google. And what you want to do is go and search for Forge just like this. And make sure you go to the official website, which is this top one here, files.minecraftforge.net. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features like one click install mod packs. They've got instant setup, DDoS protection, 24 seven service and support, and so many other awesome benefits. And at the moment, you can go and get 50% off off your monthly plan, which is super cool. So check them out as soon as you can. And I'll put a link down below in the description and the pinned comments for them. But back to the video. So when it comes to choosing your Minecraft version of Forge, you should consider what mods you're considering using, because if there's a mod you know you want to use, you should go and see what version of that mod you can get and then match the version with Forge. Or if we just go and say get the 1.20.1 um, version of Minecraft Forge, that then means you need to get the 1.20.1 version of that mod. So just so you know that, the mods need to match the version of Forge or vice versa. Then you can go and download the latest version or the recommended. I'll go and get the recommended version, but the latest one will do the same, but the recommended one may be more stable. So I'll go and click on installer like this. You will get taken to an add wall. So just be careful because the download button here won't start forge. It will be for the add. So make sure you click in the top right on skip and that will then go and start the download just like that. And it shouldn't take too long to download and it's now finished. So then what we can do is come out of our browser and what we need to do is open up our file explorer and go to our downloads. In your file explorer in your downloads folder, you should go and find Forge, here it is. And then I'm just gonna drag it onto my desktop just to explain what you need to do next. So then what you want to do is go and double click on the Forge installer like this. And you should go and get the mod system installer. Now, you may go and have a folder open, a file open, or maybe something completely different. If that's the case, it's likely because you don't have Java. So what you want to do is go and open up a web browser again, come to a search engine and go and search for Java, like so, and come to java.com, and then hit download Java, download the application, and then install it. It's a super simple process. After you've installed it, come back to Forge, click on it once and right click on it, and then press on open with, and click on choose another app, and then choose Java TM platform SE binary from this list, select it and press always, and then it should go and work. If it still doesn't work, then it may be because you need to reassociate Java and jar files. To do that, you could run something called a jar fix. So open up your browser again and search for jar fix like so, go and search for it. And it's made by a guy called Johan, click on it. And then all we need to do is click on jarfix.exe and it will start the download. As I said, this basically fixes the jar association. And what you'll then need to do is open up your file explorer again. And here it is. And then all you need to do is run it like so. You'll get a Windows security pop-up and it will then register everything successfully. And once you've done that, try right clicking on Forge, clicking on open with, and then choose another app and find Java. And that should then fix the problem. And so when you then run Java, you should get the mod system installer. So make sure install client is selected, press OK, and it's then going to do some downloads and then it's going to go and install it. So you can sit back and relax. Once it's finished, it will say successfully installed and you can go and tap OK. And then what you want to do is go and launch Minecraft. So I'll go and run the launcher now. Click on Java Edition on the left of the launcher and then come down here to the left of play and make sure you've got Forge selected. Quite a common mistake is people don't run it using Forge and then you can click on play. You'll need to agree to this, I already do, and then wait for it to launch. If it crashes while launching, then it's likely you've got some outdated mods in your mods folder, which you'll need to delete, and then it should launch fine. And now here we are in the launcher. And as you can see, we've got the option for mods and we can see Forge in the bottom left. And so then what we can do is go and get some mods. So you can click on mods and then you can press on open mods folder and you can then put them in there. Just make sure the mods version matches the Forge version, which is in my case 1.20.1. Of course, it'll be different for you. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.